Buy a small fry. Whether you got your news from Ernie Tatro, sold a treasure on the Trader Van Show, or appeared on Bread Time Stories, WRGB has always been something people in the Capital Region had in common. I wish to congratulate WGY and WRGB TV on bringing to our rural communities the latest news of the world and the vital issues of the day. But why the first television station in Schenectady? You can thank GE and its brilliant scientists for that, like EFW Alexanderson. This was his home. It was in his living room on January 13, 1928, that WRGB was born. There had been experimental TV before then, but Alexanderson took it out of the lab and brought it into three homes in Schenectady. The sets were only three inches by three inches. The federal government gave the station its first name, W2XB, which led to regular programming three days a week, including a newscast of sorts with farm and weather reports. Eventually, the station pioneered dramatic programming, the first a play called The King's Messenger. It would be 11 years before GE took its television to the World's Fair to offer it to consumers at the unheard of price of $450. It was in the midst of World War II that W2XB got its new commercial license as WRGB. Straight out one. And the local programming grew and changed from those theatrical productions to Freddie Freihofer, to Bronco Bill, or to the After 6-7. In the 60s, local programs like TV Tournament Time and Teenage Barn ruled the roost. We just kind of sidestepped into doing news well. It wasn't until November 22, 1963, that news became king. WRGB broadcast nonstop commercial free the day President John F. Kennedy was assassinated. 91 years have now passed since that first broadcast that went into just three homes. There have been many more changes over the years. A switch from NBC to CBS, a new home, more newscasts, 24-hour programming. The rest, as they say, is history. Liz Bishop, CBS 6 News. Well, I don't know about devious, but certainly some people might consider certain living conditions cruel.